I always thought of it as a romantic place. Hello and welcome to another PC Time Capsule video. Today, looking at Reddit Faction. Yes, this game about a rebellion on Mars, and today I'm joined by John Linneman, who's over there, as usual on the console, this time on the PlayStation 2. How are you doing there, John? Uh, I've been better, Alex. I am a little bit sick, so pardon I'm any sorry, voice uh, weirdness there, but playing Red Faction always cheers me up, so, you know, <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, I know. I've just been playing this today as well as a bit yesterday, and I'm just really enjoying the fact this is like a fun arcadey shooter. Not too deep, but it does a lot of really cool stuff, which is kind of why we want to talk about it today on the channel. And it's, you know, feels like it's the right time to talk about Red Faction. It's time to put a new reception out there for this game. So yes, as you can see, I'm over here playing on play, uh, PC, but we're just watching the intro video here play out, which we'll talk about briefly. Uh, the PC I am playing on is a Windows XP uh, PC. It's from a make a little bit after this game came out with the Pentium 4 now running at 2.8 gigahertz. So it is a later Pentium 4 with a GeForce 4 Ti 4200. So a little bit after this game came out, I don't have my Windows ME PC setup right now. Otherwise, uh, I'd be using that right now. <laughs> I, I uh, Alex, however, am using a PlayStation 2 model 39001 uh, with a mod chip installed for multi-region play. It has a MIPS 3R5900 based emotion engine clocked incredible 294.912 megahertz. Uh, although this might be the 299 megahertz one. I can't remember when they switched, but they did slightly up, up the clock speed at some point. So... Uh, yeah, baby, we're oh, rocking here. Here we're going. So that's <laughs> so yours loads into the first level, and mine loads before. Oh wait, now it's loading again. Yeah, it's doing like a double load, because it just plays the video instantly, and then it shows the then the loading comes after the video. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, this is running on seventy two hundred RPM hard drive. This is running on a DVD ROM drive <laughs> <laughs> from an original disc. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just like even without moving the camera right now, uh, one of the things we noticed when we were just looking at this earlier is that there's just like a different color variation in the PS2 versus the PC version, right, John? Yeah, it looks like to me on the PC they're actually mining mustard. So <laughs> yes, it is. Mustard. It's very mustardy yellow. <laughs> no, I, I'm actually curious about this. I'm not sure what's going on there. The thing to remember here is that. This game came out in May of 2001 on PlayStation 2 and then later came to the PC in September. So mm -hmm. they could have made tweaks and changes. Uh, oh, for sure. I imagine they did. Obviously they did, I'd say. Yeah. So yeah, here obviously. we are. We're, we're just chilling in these mines and yeah. it's Mars. And I think this illustrates one of our first kind of complaints, right? That we were just discussing before recording. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, so the game starts yeah, let's go down with, the a, hole. <laughs> with, with a video telling you about the entire backstory to the first five minutes of the game. Uh, well, not even the first five minutes, the first maybe 60 seconds. Uh, do we want to advance a little bit here, John, and have a listen? Yeah, it's been a long Okay, day. let's do this. It's about to get a little longer, mind scum. Just let me go, or else. You threatening me? Yeah, well, threaten this! Hi, Miner! <laughs> oh, you know, you got me. Uh, This is how the game starts, which is like... That's the thing to complain about. The rest of the game is actually really quality, but the game starts off so weirdly and abruptly. Like, it this feels is, incomplete. This is after Unreal. This is after Half Life. And this game starts with you're supposed to be like emotionally invested into the rebellion, the red faction, the injustice of the Mars miners. And it tells it to you through a video. And the way you see it play out in game is a guard yelling at a miner for. I don't even know, like, what is the infraction exactly, but the response is to kill each other over, like, this minor dispute that is, I don't know, it's just, it is so absurd. It's what out starts of this rebellion, John? Yeah, it's kind of funny to think that all the Red Faction lore begins from this one uh, <laughs> altercation here between these two guys. And it's just, <laughs> pour one out for this dude. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, th this I love. There's so many things to like about this era of graphics, but I know the character models aren't too great when it comes down At least to. They it, have but I have a real. They have shadows, or well, one of them does. Yeah, for me. The, Wait, why does the the one doesn't? See, look. This, I have the shadow setting set to on. This guy way, has a shadow PC. for sure. He's got a simple shadow on PC, like a drop shadow. Except uh, for his head is, is cut off because it's. Uh, I guess, however, it's hitting the wall there. It's not working. That's interesting. Different shadow rendering. I actually prefer the PS2 one for sure there. 
Uh, there's, you know, there's other some differences that we can already see as well, too. Like the way your gun is lit is different than the way the gun is lit on PC. Um, I should say I'm not using the exact retail version of the game. I'm using, using patch version 1.2. I decided to, to install it because it also came out in the year like 2001. I was like, eh, might as well just install the patch. But obviously, if you're playing this game on an, uh, these nowadays, you'd probably use the GOG version as well as community patches that That's right. uh, make the game work better. That's all right. You have to, you have to kill dudes. We also have to make sure we're going in the same direction. Yeah, uh, so we're, because in exactly. this game, it's pretty easy to go in a different direction. Oh man, look at him go! So I guess oh, one gosh. thing to note is that so this was made by Volition, right? Everybody yeah. knows them today for the Saints Row games, uh, but mm -hmm. they were actually formed out of uh, Parallax Software, the creators of Descent. When they split, they split in two, and. Half of them went to form something called Outrage Entertainment that made Descent 3 and Alter Echo. Mm -hmm. And then the other guys went off to form Volition, where they made games like Red Faction and Summoner and Descent Free Space. Summoner? I actually don't know. What is that even? So that was a, uh, a Western RPG. Oh, okay. Uh, from wow, they have such a diverse See? setting wow, of look games at that here. It's like super dark. Oh, like <laughs> you just killed some dudes. I just... uh, <laughs> Oh, wait, where are we like? Oh, I went down in the hole over here to grab some charges. Oh, okay, so um, down here? Yeah. Yeah, go down there, and there should be some dudes in there. You can just oh, yeah. shoot them up, kill them. Come on. Oh, there's an auto aim with the reticle there's on the wicked PS2 auto aim version. In this. Remember, yeah. this was released prior to Halo, and these guys. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> were a PC developer first and foremost, so they were probably like, all right, how do we do a console game? <laughs> yeah. Shooter. And auto aim was, you know, one of the common things. I think. I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense yeah. for the time period. It's it's All not right. the worst. So where are we going? Yeah, up the we hole. have to go up this hill over here. I think we're going away from the M4 mine. With... Yeah, that guy yeah. just this got toasted. <laughs> He's toasted. <laughs> so oh, some more baddies over here. Before we played this, you you actually spent some time sort of looking into uh, the the technology here, and there was actually some interviews that the developers gave that sort of explains why the game kind of looks the way it does. Yeah, it's important to talk about because okay, so let me just kill this dude, and I can start talking about the tech by showing it off a bit. So, so many so many bad guys. Okay, good, that's good. All right, so the thing that makes Red uh -huh, Faction famous is uh, something called Geomod. You can essentially, on not designated areas of the world necessarily, but almost every area in the world, you can deform the geometry. So like here, I moved in like that, and you can see the, the dent in the wall. Yep. I can drop another charge on top of that, and it'll keep deforming inward, you cutting can, more exactly. holes in the wall. You can carve a hole through the wall. Like yeah. just straight up, you can just go through, and this is used throughout the game to do things like, for instance, a bridge. If a tank is on a bridge, uh, you place charges on each end of the bridge and blow it, then the whole bridge collapses along with the enemies in the tank. Yeah, and it, it is, for the time period, extremely rare. Like, yeah. I actually don't know of any other game it's doing this. still kind of rare today. Um, and there's, there's <laughs> you know, there's a reason for that is, and that's because, you know, Essentially, the time period, one of the problems in graphics was uh, making sure that games actually ran well with large 3D worlds or even, you know, semi-complex 3D worlds. And one of the things that John talked about when he made his Quake video, uh, his Quake DF Retro, was talking about um, binary space partitioning, BSP trees, which were used essentially to pre-compute visibility for games uh, and make the, the levels actually run in real time. Otherwise, it, it's hard to say from, like, the camera perspective what triangles actually need to be rendering at what period of time That's uh, right. so the games use that uh this game cannot use that at all because you're constantly <laughs> adjusting which geometry is even visible every frame when you essentially change the world geometry like that yep as a result this game allows you to change the world's geometry by cutting holes in it but it doesn't use this bsp system doesn't use pre-computed visibility so the world has a particular look to it like I don't know. What would you say this game has like what level of geometric complexity would you say it has? It doesn't look like a game from 2001 in that aspect. No, it think. feels very much like Unreal 1, you know, kind yeah. of levels. It's like you could tell that they were constrained uh in terms of world complexity 
because of I'm sure this was one of the reasons very specifically I, I can only imagine just because that you know that's that's definitely more expensive especially on a console here yeah Can't use running that on PS2 yep. at all so like I think that explains a little bit why the game world looks the way it does and also why it's kind of arranged in an interesting way like it's a re weirdly sprawling whoa. at times like whoa what's what are you seeing so these enemies when I killed them uh when they were still animating and fell down, they had a nice shadow, but then I clicked over to like dead model mode and the shadow turned off. And I wonder if they're like getting rid of shadows based on uh, like they don't want to have too many enemies that have too many shadows or something, you know? Because like, <laughs> I would a shadow. imagine that you can see his that looks that looks so good. I wish you but, know that's interesting how the PC only has simple shadows and it it's simple shadows instead. And look, I, I went away from there and now the shadow is gone. That doesn't even so, make sense. It just might be clips away and then goes away forever. That's I, so weird. Th that must be a way to save on resources to, rather than rendering all those shadows on all the dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you save that miner and the first thing he does is run away and dies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. is a typical thing that happens in this game. There's no like squad AI that comes with you in place. No, the miners just kind of run around and get killed. Yeah, they just, that's the tends of what they, to be what they do. So yeah, let's, let's go through this door right here. Um... Oh, and when we get loading. to the other side of the store, when it loads the next part, it has kind of like Half-Life style loading. In that faster aspect. on the PC, of course. Yeah, it is quite a bit faster. Hard I mean, drive. you know, <laughs> the spec of this PC is a little, little bit high for this game. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had like a Pentium 4 1.8 or something like that. Okay. Uh, so, oh, yeah, now there's guys ooh, there's on the other side of this thing here shooting rockets at us. It's so insane that the first, you know, this game has, the way it deals out weapons is very different than other FPS games, which are usually like pistol, shotgun. The second weapon you get in this game beyond the pistol is a rocket launcher. <laughs> but look at this though, Alex, like as you take rockets from this guy, he can like, just, he already blew up a piece of the wall here. So like, whoa, see, <laughs> yeah, like the enemy is destroying the room. You can just use his rocket to do that. So if I just stand over yeah. here. There it goes. Boom. <laughs> That's it's How cool so is that? cool, man. Uh, I don't know. Like th this game is it's, it makes me sad that we didn't see it in my, many other games after this because I think the I, the concept is so awesome, you know? Like it, it it's pretty weird that it didn't end up in any other games essentially other than the Red Faction series. Yeah. And it changed for Red Faction Guerrilla where they opted for more of like a prop based system similar to crisis i guess you could say mm -hmm. you know where yeah. it's like bits and pieces that all assemble together that have their own physical properties but you couldn't like blow the map apart and like create tunnels no you couldn't and there's no I, physics I mean, I, here really like in most yeah. scenes like they occasionally simulate it with like certain things but uh by and large it's not there yeah, by and large, it's mainly just cutting holes in the world geometry. Uh, there are destructible pieces, too. Like, I think some of, like, there's, like, barrels you can shoot that, like, oh, break yeah. apart, like, in the typical old video game way. That's um, right. But other than that, most of it is, like, stuff like this. I'm thoroughly enjoying how the AI reacts. Like, they say, don't shoot me, and then they start shooting you Check again. This out. I'm going to throw one of those up there. Oh, yeah, let's see that. And then, boom. Oh, oh he did, fell right through it. I love that. He fell through it. What a what a load of something. <laughs> what a oh, load man. of yeah. Yeah, I've, it's it's so interesting how the PC version runs pretty well, I think, uh, all things considered here. Uh yet it's like using simplified graphical things. Well, I mean, PS2. when was what's the PC specs in there? When, what year the is that from? The, the GPU here is essentially one from one year later. Okay. Uh which is DX, uh, DX. You know, stuff was changing one. real fast back then. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, this is like a GeForce three time period almost, uh, and I don't own a GeForce three, uh, sadly. Okay, I went up there. If you go back and up that little platform, oh, uh, the right one up there, here. Yeah, I'm standing up here. Oh, this is to the grinder. Yeah, the, the crusher, crusher, the crushinator. Um, okay, that's lit differently. Look. Wait one second. Oh, Let me just shoot them. these dudes who are trying to kill me. So now we can talk a bit about the lighting. So this is an error, I think. And oh, yeah. um, there is a... The, so things on PC, the gun included, um, a lot of the... Some of the smaller world geometry 
is not lit correctly by the game's lighting system. I don't know how what it necessarily is. It's sometimes light maps, and sometimes it's just like vertex stuff. Um, but here you can see how it's like just full bright, and that's a, a, an error in the PC version. And let's go a little bit f further here. Um, and there's a mod on PC uh, from years later. I forget the name of it. It's like Dash or something like that. It's called like Dash Faction, Dash Red Faction. And uh, it fixes, fixes it. up that issue, essentially. Yeah. This, and I'll maybe show some screens this room, of that. I got to say, I love this room. Like, to me, this is like quintessential Quake era, like Quake engine kind of <laughs> stuff. Like, But with, yes. like, with a tinge of Unreal. Because mm -hmm. you got like the light halos and like the super bright colored lights. Like this yeah, is just that, pure it's that beauty. red lighting, man, <laughs> and the industrial stuff. Like there's like there's like a level in Quake Two that looks like oh, this, this actually. Is, this stuff I love this stuff, man. I, <laughs> yeah, I love this stuff too. The rock crusher. What does it do? It crushes rock. That's all it does. Uh, um that's all it does. Oh, is this, uh, so yeah. We got a big drill thing up here. So this is, I think this is one part to talk about the game's inspirations. It takes place on Mars um, during a rebellion of some sort. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that sounds familiar to you, but I really love the movie Total Recall. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And uh, this room reminds me a lot of Total Recall, like right at the end of the uh, kind of like, it's like I would consider it third act of the film when Benny's coming in to crush Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. And he's driving a machine that looks almost exactly like this one. It may have one drill bit instead of two. There we I go. I cannot recall. Uh, oh, yeah, you can get inside it and uh, <laughs> crushinate yes. the wall. Let's do this. Um, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, not, yeah, it's not perfect looking when it does it, but it is. Uh, hey, it's I, doing I, it, man. I love that you can do this. It's just ridiculous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and the, the performance on PC does dip when I do that because it's like the alpha effects getting on screen and stuff. I'm running the game at the highest settings possible in game at 1024 by 768. Uh, and it's sort of, you know, running primarily at like 60 FPS or whatever. It's it's running really well, actually. Um, oh, what the heck? I, I can make what happened on your side? Like I'm in a... Am I stuck? Can you not move out? Okay. Uh -oh. oh, I can climb out. Okay. I got I got it kind of So, see the thing is that's funny. For those areas in mine, oh, they're lit it's... properly, but for you they're lit improperly. Yeah. It's just like It's just like, like default texture. It's color. not lit at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not lit at all. And we just drilled the same wall too. So, it's like uh I think it's still amazing. You know, all things consider. I want to drill a little bit further, actually. Just for like, how would you light that? Like, how are they just using like vertex stuff? Because like, you can't it, really do light maps in there. You can't do light maps on it's... this kind of terrain, so it has to be vertex stuff. It's another thing that explains, I think, why this game looks the way it looks. You know, yeah. like, like vertex lighting is obviously not going to be as complex or as cool looking as nice light maps. There are light maps in the game, though. I remember seeing one at like one of the later missions, pretty obviously. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's a should thing. Should we get through sure. this door? Yeah, let's go here. through this door. Yeah, we have to. Or processing. Oh, wait, no, we actually have oh, to go wait. through the other door. Other door. Mistake. Yeah, because we go away from ore processing. Uh, guard to, station. To guard station. Yeah, that's where we get the shotgun and the flamethrower and all those great things. Um, but it's you know, just looking at back at this game, I think the thing that makes it interesting beyond GeoMod itself is is that it's actually like a pretty oh, competent yes. shooter for the time period like it doesn't make it too many mistakes it yeah. knows what it's, it's doing solid. It, it's solid I mean, um, these, it's these not... guys you know they know what they're doing they've made good shooters before Oops. right here i'm trying to rocket launcher it oh, i love how, how you can see like figures in the uh, little screen there <laughs> oh yeah that's awesome oh wait let me see is that even on pc one second let me kill these dudes who are being a very annoying. Well, let me kill them as well. Oh uh, yeah, there is on. So I'm assuming they're like, re like they're re. I don't know how they're doing that actually. That's really interesting. Like for me, go. it's got like, um, it's different. It's done differently on mine actually. So for like me oh. right now, he's not showing up. The dead, the dead dude ain't showing up here. The the one miner, but the guard I killed is. And he's got like a really cool scan line effect on that there. Looks really great. Yeah. Oh god. Can you shoot the glass to the left, John? That's Yeah. That's the How best. good is that? Like still today, right? <laughs> that is Look so great. 
Oh, I love that. Gosh, these guys rule with this. Yeah. There's an entire bonus level in the game, too, that I'll just show off right now that uh, allows you to destroy a glass house. By the way, though, Alex, really cool you know there was another, actually multiple, but there's another really classy version of Red Faction. Oh, yeah, really? John, John Romero's, Romero's Red, Red Faction, Faction for the Nokia Red Engage. You should fire that up real quick and show the audience. Yeah, let's fire it up and see how that's, uh, see, see how that's going right now. As you can see, John Romero's Engage uh, Red Faction game is uh, <laughs> quite different than the one we're playing right now. Um, according to what is re I've read on the internet, and John has too, of course, is John Romero never actually played Red Faction <laughs> while ma <laughs> making this The balls this on game. that guy. He just like, I'm yeah. <laughs> imagine that. It's like it's like you don't read like a speech before giving a speech. Uh, but, it, you know, you have like a multiple thousand dollar budget, essentially. Uh, so it is very different. Obviously, it's has different technology due to what the end gauge could possibly do. It has like unfiltered textures. Uh, I don't think it renders. It's kind of like a it reminds me a bit of like a like a Wolf 3D style engine where the I think the, it's the ceiling lacks textures completely, but the ground has textures. Oh wait, yeah, we have to kill this APC on the bridge here. Oh no, I'm taking damage. We're playing on easy as you can imagine because. We don't want to have the chance of dying. This is the part where I can actually knock it down. Look at that. Look at the APC falling through. That is so oh, cool. What the heck? <laughs> 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 he just tumbled up. He just drove off. <laughs> you know what, John? Uh, yeah. Like, this game is straight up action movie. The enemies are stupid. Look, there we go. The, I took out the bridge piece. <laughs> actually, let me do that, too. That's really cool. It's gone. So there is some sense of constraint. Uh, even though if it doesn't make complete sense always, let me, let me try that again. So like here, the only thing holding oh, it on yeah. is this tiny little bit. Oh wait, let me try and hit it off. Come try on. to hit the larger oh. part. Yeah, with the large. There we go. Yeah. That is actually really cool. Like That is cool. So there's some level of constraints shown for pieces and... You know, I, I bet this is like a special set piece style of geometry that. Well, the way the way they do fog in this room is really different looking on these game versions. Look, if I stand back here on this bridge. Let me move back a bit so I'm similar to your view. Yeah, it does look really, really different. Like wow. the room is very different looking somehow. Yeah, I'm playing in 32-bit color, which is one difference technically, probably, but the rest is like I think the way 24 -bit, fog is just done. 24-bit color on PS2. Mm hmm yeah that could explain some of it but like not all no i think it's they they changed something for some reason yeah but just like look at john's gun when he moves under these lights you can see it like individually changing the shading on the gun oh, yeah. and on the pc there's none of that there is vertex lighting on the pc when guns are shot and stuff like that like the first person gun has like vertex lighting um but the rest of it <clears throat> really isn't there i kind of like uh, that though this this period where you'd have ports of games like this where like just arbitrarily well from our <laughs> perspective things have changed it, i mean one reason they could have done that is because like maybe they wanted to support something like direct x7 you know and stuff like that who really knows um oh man I, I i used to think this this by the sorry i thought this texture was radical as heck back in the oh day. it's dude this this thing <laughs> Look just, at that. i love it there's like green bits on there it's got glowing stuff <laughs> This, this thing is just like, yeah, like it could come out of a Strog factory. I can just see it right now. It's so cool. I love this period. Like, that's what I was trying to say earlier when I look at the, the character models in this game. Like, strong Deus Ex vibes. Oh, where yeah. It's like where everything was in the texture. Yeah. And oh, I just love that look. And, like, sure, it isn't as cool looking as something like Metal Gear Solid 2, which has amazing stuff for this time period in terms of character models. But there's something about, like, the way everything was so texture-driven that produces a really yeah. cool look that it's, I really, really this is, like. This is a PC 
PC game, right? Like even though it's on <laughs> console, like this this is trying to be a PC game 2001. And that, well, oh, it's yeah. not trying, it is. So, th- <laughs> so there is some weird... So there is technically a stealth system in this game. Kind of. Like, uh, <laughs> like your pistol can equip a silencer and there are alarms that go off like here. Like you can take out the... Um, what do you call them? Uh, security cameras, and it won't cause an alarm to go off. I like, but, by the way... I mean, what's the, the point? These light fixtures, if you actually look up at the fixture itself, like on the little arches... Yeah, sure. Oh. Like, they've got this, like, uh, it's like that... Uh, that grill ribs, in front of it. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like plastic grill placed in front of the light bulbs. It's just, okay, what is going on? You just... <laughs> I was burning to death ran into you. <laughs> Maybe it's worth mentioning the AI again. Like, if you haven't noticed, I feel like these guys were like, remember when those, when the grunts in Quake 2, like, ducked down? What yes. If, like, what if we took that and expanded it by, like, a million? It's like, <laughs> as soon as you start shooting at anybody, they just, like, run in random directions, and they, like, just get... Like, it's just like, complete chaos. Dude, this guy just died out of nowhere. Nothing was happening, and he just killed over dead. It was so good. Um, yeah, the AI in this game, it is pretty, uh, like, like I said earlier, the guy just, like, starts running at you immediately as they see you. Usually, they just start full sprint ahead, trying to kill you. Um, they don't have that many different states, to say the least. It's just mainly, uh, start shooting, to say, to say the least. Yeah. Shotgun is the Half-Life style shotgun, where the primary shot fires off two shotgun uh blast two shells and the then this there's a semi-automatic automatic mode for the for the right click i think every gun in this game has a secondary fire yep by the way these textures here are quite good i like these posters like they're very sharp looking artwork and it's the volition face i guess and yeah it is (laughs) it looks it does look actually great the whole aesthetic in this room with their textures it's just there's something about it i really like yeah, it's giving me slight alien vibes, slight alien yeah. vibes, you know, a little bit of that. Maybe Alien 3, maybe a bit of that. Too. Yeah, got to try and find some shotgun ammo. I think there's some in the next portion of the game. Thinking but. of that, though, Alex, did you notice how many weapons they give you so early in the game? Like, yes. Look, look it, how many weapons we have already. It is not we dishing them out. We have a freaking riot shield, even, yeah, for some a reason. Yeah, There's also a flamethrower, technically, okay. in this room. I got Actually, the flamethrower. Let me pick it up. Little whack this dude. This riot shield it? sucks. It should be like right here. It's one of Ugh. these guys dropped it. There we go. I picked it up. Um, shotgun. I don't know what the riot shield actually does. I tried to figure it out earlier. I just and killed I a guy did. with it. It's not easy. Oh, man. Come on, yeah, sure. Oh, no Come on tough guy. And I just oh, you went back. Here. I see. Yeah. yeah, I was just uh, trying to get the flame to ammo. I'll, I'll move up to see you. See if you though. can beat Come the loading on. screen. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my backup? It's about to get a little longer, mind scum. Oh, I have to. Uh, no, the button uh, to even load this? Yeah, there's a button there on the side. Oh, there it is. Security to minor barracks. Wow, yeah, loading on PC cool is a lot, lot faster in general. Yeah. Whoa. Uh. Do you, you don't have? Oh, oh, there's a a gauge. I was trying to figure out how the things were worked earlier, and there's a gauge on the top. Oh yeah. Oh, they just instantly die. Wow. That's nuts. Oof. Crisp. Really. Oh, the shadow actually conf- Well, it did conform <laughs> to the steps until it disappeared. On the- I hate that they get rid of them on dead bodies so quickly. I don't know why they do that, though, because, like... I don't know, like, the bed- some of the dead bodies in this game stay forever, and some of them, th- this other guy's just disappeared after I lit him on fire, so... It seems like, yeah, it's very hit or miss on whether they, they stay or not. There's definitely yeah. some weirdness with this game. <laughs> I'm sure it's all yeah. load balancing, though. Like, I'm, you know. Yeah, the, the, the Eurogamer interview I did find from the developers of this game that was in 2014, <clears throat> uh, this interview, said one of the things they had to prioritize on uh, PlayStation 2 was uh, mam- uh, memory management, which they didn't really have much of a problem with in their PC version. So yeah. I imagine some of that is the reason why it is. PS2, the way it of is. course, having, I think, 32 megs of RAM. Yeah, right? So, I recall oh, there's the, there's the, this is where we go down here, and we go on to the the automated weapon. Oh, but oh, there we go. You don't need to technically, but you know, 
It sounds cool. It's Speaking like, of sound, though, how about that soundtrack? Oh, it's amazing. I was listening to it all morning, actually, while uh, kind of preparing to record this with you, John, because it was really, really cool. It's, like, atmospheric at times. It's, it also has, like, driving score, as well as, like, I don't know, like, Rocky Electronica. Yeah. It's awesome. It's so cool. Speaking of awesome, though, how's that Engage version looking? Good job. <laughs> As you can see, the Engage version has a very different level design. It doesn't line up with what we're doing right now, really oh, yeah, at all. No, you're right. It's completely different. <laughs> it doesn't even have the spoken word. It's not one of those modern games like that. It reminds me a bit of like the Doom RPG in terms of like how different it is than this game. Hey, you know. All right, back to this game. The the real version. The real, the real <laughs> Red Faction. Not John Romero's Red Faction. Do you think they released like a box for that that says John Romero's Red Faction? They did not, but I wish no. they had. <laughs> that was during uh, John's mourning period, I think, post Daikatana. Mm hmm. You know, I, I think, even though, you know, I've made it clear before, I actually like Daikatana. I understand that completely. It has flaws. Actually. And it does have to lean a little bit on the community patches to be great. But with yes. those applied, you know. I think it's a solid game. Mm -hmm. For sure. I think like the second episode and third episode are pretty oh, cool yeah. in Daikatana. Uh, the last one's probably the worst, actually. It's which just, one is the last one? It's like Los oh. Angeles or something. It's like oh, that one's terrible. Like we start in the prison. And, yeah. yeah it's, it's really... Ugh. Yeah, it's not great. Actually, okay, so... where'd you go? So I went through... Your, I went forward here uh, to the... You went in this room, I think. There's like a room above this one. Uh, after they spilled coffee. I went to the cafeteria area, and then I went to um, oh, yeah, I the went... maintenance elevator, and then this guy starts talking to you, saying, like, oh, you can't go that way. Because, you know, this is one of those games from the era where someone calls you on a radio who you've never met, who tells you how to beat the game. Oh, uh, it's very that, common it's thing. of that era. <laughs> yeah. Even Bioshock does that. Um, so, yeah, these, these elevators blocked off, so we have to find an alternative route. Uh, and I think you do that by going to the detention area. So, get me out of here. Get me. Do I go back through the cafeteria, was it? Go to the cafeteria area, yeah. for sure. Wait here. Okay, I'm in the cafeteria. That is one sorry cafeteria, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, it is, uh... Yeah, it's seen better days. Actually, now you're going the right way. I'm now you ahead. are going the... So, maybe you don't even have to go the, the, the way back to the cafeteria. Oh. Uh, I hit a loading screen. Yeah, you're going the right way, I think, right now. Let me let me try and go to where you're going. I'm gonna go, go through into the, caf the cafeteria and then keep going through it. And you should find an air vent. Yeah. Oops, I just shot a the dude. Well, it's all right. So I don't know if anyone he'll saw. Li he'll live. Or actually, yeah. no, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the the PC version, interestingly, it's running out of like almost a flat 60 on my PC right now. Um, but it has half rate animation after a certain distance, which. I don't think that's too common uh, from games from this period, to my nope. knowledge. I don't uh, recall. So that's that's an unusual thing. Mm -hmm. That makes me wonder, like, what what were the average PCs like when they launched this game in 2001? Because they obviously like, would have had to scale it so that it ran well on a wide range of PCs. You're using a PC that didn't exist in 2001. So. <laughs> yeah, this is more like 2002, 2003. Um, in that aspect, they probably had to scale down to like higher end Pentium 2s and stuff like that. Uh, and the fact that it runs on the PS2, I think, says it would scale to something like a higher clocked Pentium 2 for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, go into. No, no, no. Let's no, let's go back here. Yeah, go in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you crawl up on the counter and there's an air vent. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. That's yeah. right. And I'll get the loading screen just like you. So, unlike Soldier of Fortune, this game has the exact same loading screens as the PS2 version. Yeah, and each level chunk is sizable enough, I guess. Like, they're not too small. Yeah, I mean, it's better than Half-Life 1, I would say, yeah, in that aspect. Definitely. Uh, for sure. 
Uh, the shotgun's actually pretty great in this game. Yeah, it does feel good to shoot. This was a good era for shotguns. Oh, it's so good. I mean, it wouldn't win Shotgun of the Year considering that Halo would come out later in 2001. <laughs> yeah, the shotgun like, in Halo 1 is so... In, in Halo 1, like, you know... Oh, my God. Absolutely destroys Red Faction in terms of just everything. But, <laughs> everything. but you know, now I can look back and say, yeah, Red Faction was still pretty cool in its own right. It's oh, no yeah. Halo, but it's still, you know, it deserves some kudos. It's a cool yeah. little game. I would love to have seen this Geomod in a game that more tightly integrated it into the game design loop. Like, here, it's there, for sure. Um, but it's not always used, necessarily, no, in every section of the game. It's very to make it optional. Like, yeah. just, just have fun with it. But I feel like they could have built more scenarios with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, shh. Sh Nikes. Uh, you got to be kidding me. Let's uh, go to the technical difficulties music there, John. And we're back, right? Yeah, we're back. Uh, that was a, a was little bit of technical difficulty. That was embarrassing. This is all right. Things happen, John. So, John, explain what happened. Uh, so, I was climbing the ladder here, <laughs> doing, doing it like you do, and I, I did this, see? Oh, well, actually, I caught myself that time, but <laughs> but the idea. So you know, I fell off, which which sometimes I just fell off too. that happens, right? With the way that is, it's a little awkward actually. The way they built that part. Here's the problem <laughs> with Red Faction, though. Red Faction never auto saves ever. It doesn't nope. have an auto save function. You all <laughs> you have to go into the menu and manually save your game like that. You have to do it. If you don't do it. Uh, you get no save. So when you fall and die, the only option is go back to the main menu. So that is very PC to say the least. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I it is not a good thing though because like let's this game like every as we've been playing it, we're playing on easy, and I even think on medium the game's really easy to beat. Uh, anything you can just be churning through this game. You could get to like an hour and a half in and then fall off a ladder or something like that. Go to the next area. Right. Load. just fall off a ladder um, and, and fall off a ladder and die and all of a sudden it's like oh the game never saved by itself good luck have fun it's like a game over screen from like a, a, a you know an nes game it's nuts yeah <laughs> that's that's definitely a strange design choice they should at least checkpoint you at the save or at the loading screens mm -hmm. i feel like that's the fair play uh oh oh already another weapon yeah, kid. he drops the uh, or the, actually, where is it here? You already picked up the assault rifle. Yeah, nice, dude. I love uh, another I love thing this that stuff. this game does. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you the, told me you you say your line first. So this game has Duke Nukem 3D style um, uh, cameras that you can click on. Oh yeah, you know that like show different air parts of the game. Like they're technically trying to go for like a stealth thing here on this mission a little bit, but like it really doesn't uh. work. There's not enough sneaking opportunity at all. And I love the weapon racks and like health things on the wall, which is very Half Life. Do you like the stretch texture on it too? Uh, I don't love that, but it, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. is. This glass, because I, mean, I, I really want to shoot it. Yeah, Can it is. I? Do it. Yeah, do it. Give it a try. Yes. Oh, so good. Also, the screen shake from the assault rifle is great. Yeah. The gun oh. sound isn't too great for the assault rifle, um, but the actually I almost wasted all my hand there. Good job, Alex. Uh, but the, the screen shake is. <laughs> the so, AI. Uh, yeah, it just runs at you. I, I love this, though. Like, you can see all the glass from up there. It's just resting on the ground here. Like, it just shatters. And, and so... I think that's pretty cool. That doesn't disappear, but, like, sometimes corpses do and shadows do. Yeah. Even though, arguably, transparency is harder to render than they were, all of those They were things. proud of their glass. They were proud of their glass. That's, that's cool, right? Because the glass itself was almost... It's, I, I'm sure it's... Well, I mean, it's somewhat dynamic, but it almost seems like it has like, velocity to it. You hit the mm -hmm, glass, yeah. the glass falls out of the window, and you actually see it scatter about the room, and then the glass shards remain on the floor. That's cool. It does look awesome. Like, had anybody even done anything like that before at that level? Ah, 2001, I really I cannot even imagine a game that has, and it's really cool. So here's an area where there's light maps. Check that out. This is oh. non-destructible geometry, though. At oh, least I yeah, think most of it is. Let me check. Light maps from Maybe the these windows. barriers are not. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, no, it oh, is the destructible. Music so look. killer, man. Destructible so geometry. 
the light map just obviously, you know, it just... It's... Let's see what it does on PC. Wow. So, obviously, that's awesome that you can actually destroy stuff with, like, there's a light map there. I don't think, obviously, the light map's applying to the stuff inside. No, I think the light map's just this. on the surface, and then, you know... Like, I just created a shortcut to go to the, the, the area up here. Oh, that's see, amazing. That is that is really cool, actually. Wait a minute. Let me. T yeah, look at this. Like, how cool is yes, that? Yes, dude's like, stop! You're <laughs> killing me. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, I hate computers. Oh yeah, th this is great. They have like medics in the game. I guess they tried to do some other stuff here, like in terms of AI, but like they have like medics that are strewn across oh, the game shoot. world and they'll give you HP if you want. Kind of like Half-Life style where you can, you know, talk to the scientists or the, you know, like Barney and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Not as nearly as successful though. No, they wouldn't be that well adapted. Remember yeah, me? No, no. I was the medic back in back on bars. <laughs> yeah, remember? <laughs> back on bars. The game, hey, I think Parker. the game... The uh, the sequel to this game takes place, I think, nine years later or something like that. Uh, and the entire world is transformed on Mars. There's like a dictatorship and yeah. whatever. Um, but I kind of want to mention the second game really quickly just because it is not as popular at all as this one for a lot of good reasons. But there's one thing I want to praise about it is like, I think it has like higher production value and like some pretty cool animation and some pretty cool guns. Yeah. But like the story is very Hollywood. It's like they have like cutscenes and the the levels are pretty linear. There's a lot less usage of geomod destruction, uh usually. Uh interestingly yeah, yeah, enough, yeah, you yeah, can right. destroy a bunch of stuff. This water man. I was just noticing how uh this is this is one of the rare PS2 games that seems to use mip maps. Oh, does it really? Like if you look at like this slope here. Oh yeah, right. Right. You can actually see that there's like uh, different MIP levels represented here, and on the tile floor as well. Yeah, they they start aliasing too. You can see that. So that's cool, man. They obviously were that's... experimenting with that. I guess being PC developers, it makes sense why they would do it. <laughs> <laughs> Prestige, Dying. pride, profit. I do love the... Uh, the aesthetic here is cool. I do like yeah, this. You're right. It is very like KMFDM album art. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, look, I want to show off the, the water really quickly. Where is just that Because water? John and I noticed it earlier. Where did you see that? It's in the... You know, you just went past that machine gun there. It's in the lobby in front of the machine gun. Oh, you're right. Look at it, this. Yeah, it's like kind of hidden away a bit. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, so like... When I shoot the water, it doesn't have these splashes, weirdly enough. But when I jump in the water, there's this, like, geometric oh, yeah, that. triangle transparencies. <laughs> there. I love the way you it looks. You jump backwards, you can see it real well. <laughs> oh, man, it looks so good. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm fond <laughs> of it. I'm fond of it. The water itself, though, is, like... It's got nothing on Unreal Water to say. It's like least. a very, it's like an animated texture, but it's very uh, subtle. Subtle. It is. It is really it's subtle. not super impressive. No, not no. bad, but you know, there's yeah, not that much think... water in the game, so. Mm -mm. But there is water on Mars, at least. <laughs> yeah, conspiracy time. The oh, docking bay. That's not good. That's that good, dudes. Yeah, and the as I was saying, the the second game, uh, very Hollywood. They uh, got some Hollywood voice talent for it. Lance Hedrickson in it. Uh, also, uh, not advertised, but Jason Statham does the voice to a character in the game. I don't have a clear firing lane. You must take out those towers. How are they going to use that nano cell for some process? Oh, Which is yeah. kind of great. <laughs> He's, it really sounds like a phone in line when he says it usually uh, but it's awesome to see uh, Jason stay the video game by the way in that elevator did you see oh it's too late yeah oh. one second did the door close or what? oh you can open it again cool you can yeah wait one second this guy's shooting me but I'm afraid to go back in there because it'll probably take us back down 
<laughs> so never mind. It does take you back down. I played so, this earlier and I did that thing. exact same thing. Oh, I do love the aesthetic here though, where you have like the, these orange skylights mm -hmm. out to the Martian surface. It looks great. That's a Actually, cool, let me try and a cool blow vibe. up a little bit of this. See if this blows up. And nope. no. So metals don't really no. what about explode. This? So this is an area of the game where they probably want to funnel the the, the main character into an area, right? Purposely, so they don't, so they make it so you can. So this game does continue the. Um, there's like toilets and stuff in it. You can turn and flush. It's really great. So it is a PC game in that aspect. Oh yeah. But the, the, this is one of the, the rooms in the game where you can really see the issue with the PC version. If you go back, where like the the destructibles in it are lit completely different than the rest of the room. They're like all dark and weird That's looking. Right. On PS2, they look maybe the same for the most part. I don't know. It's yeah. kind of hard to tell. But these should be destructible, I imagine. No, yeah, that one. Those beds do look weird there. Yeah, oh, like this one's like glowing. Heck? Look it's at glowing. this. Dang it! I'm, I went ahead by accident. So I oh, it's compare. all right, brother. I'll I'll go I'll go to you. You have to go down here. This is where you have to watch the oh. the drop shuttle that you were drop ship that you were yeah, supposed to I get on. It. Explode in the distance. If only you'd been faster. There they go. If only you'd been faster. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, about that. They get shot down by some service to air missiles as soon as they exit. Do you like how it transports? Yeah, and disappears it, for a second? yeah exactly. It's, uh, <laughs> it does the same thing on PC, actually. It's so, it's so a good. A fun trick, I suppose, for making that work. I mean, they have to replace the model somehow, right? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the most successful of transitions, though. The way these guys just take off down the hallway, like, as soon as you, you fire a shot, I mean, he just runs. <laughs> oh, this room looks like System Shock 2. Oh, yeah, it's great looking, isn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You're going up there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does look so good. Jeez. That is a completely System Shock 2 in here. Good Lord. I love it, though. So it's interesting how easy this game is. Um, I was playing on Medium earlier, and not only do enemies drop ammo and weapons, but they also drop armor and health like super frequently you're just constantly charged up almost yeah, never having not much health to worry issues. about really <laughs> no it is so easy of a game all right yeah lower bay not the electronic bay <laughs> uh, I just open the door, and this guy doesn't even know who I am, and he just goes, SCUM! <laughs> I mean, these are the guys that would ultimately give way to stuff like the I'm gonna shoot you in the face man from Far Cry. <laughs> He's the same. It's the same kind of guys. I'll fix his little red wagon. I bet it's the same voice actor even, you know. <laughs> this guy's taking a bunch of damage. Oh, I just loaded while the guy was shooting I'm at still me. loading. He's missing at point blank range. There we go. Boom. This Just game's like missing some gibbs, though. So that's another thing the second game does really well, is that when you shoot dudes, they just explode into tiny little pieces. It's it's so good. Um, <laughs> but the rest of the game is, like, not so great. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Actually, yeah, that's another interesting thing about the, the, the first game Whoa. here on PC is interesting in the aspect of, is it dropping frames there in that room? It was, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like when you room. look over the entire dropship, it starts dropping frames. Yep, it's too um, much. This, this game on PC shipped with, like, uh, an editor uh, uh, so you can actually make your own levels. And there's, like, custom campaigns out there people have oh, made. Oh, wow. Like, I think there's, like, even some slight total conversions or semi-conversions as well. Uh, so it was a pretty moddable game in that aspect. Uh, so they did that. It also has, like, multiplayer, deathmatch, team deathmatch, etc. Um, but when they came out with the sequel, that game on console had, like, bunch of deathmatch options and bots and stuff like that and even like um you know split screen multiplayer support but on pc they interestingly never included like a dedicated multiplayer option uh huh. weirdly enough i mean uh, maybe they just like online play assume people were like well nobody's gonna bother with this <laughs> yeah right <laughs> probably rightly so 
<laughs> but if you think about it, this is like in the era of Counter-Strike. Wouldn't every publisher out there be like, oh, you got to have multiplayer on PC? That's what I feel like would happen. Well, I feel like with Red Faction, though, that's it's gimmicky enough, the, the Geo mod stuff, where people would actually be more likely to want to fire it up and play around in multiplayer. Just because you can do some unusual things. Like, hey, you know, blow walls apart, create tunnels. That's fun. Mm-hmm. That's a good point, actually. Ooh, there's a tunnel there I can't get to. Oh, scum. I love the shotgun. So good. Whoa. Something to be said about the game's physics, too, where when you jump, it actually has kind of a weirdly weighty jump, almost like Halo. Yeah, it, it does. Oh, boy. Is this the first boss? Oh, it's one of. I, you, the funny thing is, I don't have any... Oh, God. I was going to say. Uh, I don't have any rockets anymore, so that boss may be pretty annoying, actually. I don't I don't know. Let's see here. Oh. Is there any rockets here? Please be a rocket or two. Nope, none. They use these really low color depth uh, decals. Yeah, for like transparent decals or whatever when you blow stuff up like this. Here we go. And they're pretty artifacty. <laughs> yeah. I love how it's a security bot. I mean, he actually died really oh. easily. Then again, Ryan, easy. All right. Come on, tough guy. Oh. How do I open this door? Is there a switch? Oh, no, there's another door over here. Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that red. Oh, that's so nice. Hey, interestingly, mine's missing those. Check it out. Oh, you don't have the blood red, like... Oh, wait, no, I destroyed uh, you, them, you blew them, I up. think. I blew them up. Or the robot. But did, the light map's say. still there. Oh, they blow up. That's why. That's really cool. Oh, wow. That's the a fun detail. Yeah, light map being still there is... It's not... It's no soldier of fortune, John. You know? <laughs> like, right now, the music is just so jamming. Like, oh. I can listen to this all day. I can brush my teeth with this. It's so good. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, door high risk, me. high pay, high adventure. Very uh, Starship Troopers. Big time. Yeah, these guys like their cinema. I think yeah. it's fair to say. Intruder so how's this game looking on the end gauge at this part then? Weapon. Drop your weapon. As you can see, Engage is holding its own against the might of the PC platform and PS2. All right. Well, all right. Back, back to the real game. Sector Mines. Curious, though, about why they don't have those really cool shadows on PC. There is an option on PC for, are for shadows. To return um, to their just doesn't for seem the to affect them of the that disturbances. Way. That's Maybe I'll take a look at that mod. It's slightly confusing that they would not have that feature. Yeah, because, you know, like, a lot of the id Tech 2 games definitely had those, uh, or id Tech 3 games had those style of um, shadows in them. The stensely looking things. Have you noticed, by the way, that these guys really love these long elevator and mine shafts? I mean, it is yeah. a mine, but, like, they, they really go for it, right? Like, it's like... You know, it could oh. actually be have to do with the visibility stuff, like that I was sure. talking about earlier. Like, maybe... They, uh -oh. Like, it deloads a chunk of the level oh, no. and you go down one of these. Oh! I, I couldn't hear the audio, so... Oh, that's right! This is where I died earlier. Oh, no, crap. When did you save last? Probably a little bit back, so we might have to... Uh, well, let's find out. Let's find out. It's been a little while. That's the thing about this game, is you forget to save. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well... <laughs> there you you go. know what, John? Lesson learned. <laughs> Lesson learned. You know what, John? I think we've That's showed it. off this game really well to this point. I yes. will not begrudge it of you if we stop right now. <laughs> that's, that's Red Faction. That's Red Faction. Uh, you know, 
I think this game is great. I think it would be really awesome to see another kind of entry into the series, or at least continuing the proud tradition of allowing you to just destroy stuff and destroy the game world. Heck yeah. That would be really awesome. But this was Red Faction on PC and PS2 on a Pentium 4 machine here. John, thank you so much for joining me and talking uh, but about of course. Red Faction. Yes, and if you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, hit that little bell in the corner to be informed as soon as Digital Foundry posts a video. Join us on Patreon. Uh, support us. Get years of our stuff in high quality for download. And as always, follow on Twitter right below. And this is Alex saying, Auf Wiedersehen und... Uh, don't get sick. Die, miner! <laughs>